In this video, we'll be reviewing how to clean your ventilator circuit. Prop recommends doing this once a week. What you'll need in order to do this is um, unscented, non-antibacterial dish soap. You'll need a towel for when we're gonna air dry all the pieces. And you'll need at least two containers for washing or you can use your sink. What, we make, what you wanna make sure is that both buckets or your sink have been cleaned beforehand. So we'll start by just disassembling all the pieces of the circuit. There are only two pieces of your circuit that can't be cleaned or should not be cleaned um, in this once a week routine. One of them is called your HME or your heat and moisture exchanger. And the second piece that should not be cleaned is your exhalation valve and the sensing wires. Remove these from the front of the ventilator and put them to the side. So you want to disassemble all of the hoses as well as the water trap. And you also want to make sure that in this routine you take apart your humidifier pot. So these can be difficult, the bases can be difficult to remove from the chamber. So in this case, you may need a butter knife to do that. Okay, so when you're ready, you're gonna take both of these over to the sink. Okay, so over at the sink, I'm gonna put all my tubes together. I'm going to put all of my washed and, and rinsed uh, pieces into here. I'm also going to use a clean J-cloth. I'm going to fill up this bucket with hot water. And I'm going to use my unscented uh, non-antibacterial soap. So it's just like washing the dishes. I'm going to make a nice sudsy solution. So using my J-cloth, I'm just going to wash out all pieces. Give them a rinse, making sure that I get all of the hot soapy water out. During this process, this is when you can inspect all of the different pieces that you're using and just make sure that there's no obvious wear and tear. So you wanna check all the connections and make sure there are no cracks. And any visible dirt. Just try to get it out. If you find a piece that is broken or cracked or is dirty and you can't get it out, just throw that piece out, replace it with a new one, and make sure you add it to your list um, for when you call Rodel for your supplies. Prop recommends using um, distilled water in your humidifier pots to prevent calcium buildup or mineral buildup. Um, if you're not using the distilled water, you may find that you have a little bit of deposit that needs a bit more scrubbing on the bottom of your um, humidifier pot. With the tubes, the best way to clean the tubes is just to get a little bit of hot water, hot soapy water inside the tube, and just rinse it around in there and dump it out. And then on rinsing, you want to make sure you get all of the soapy water off of the outside of the tube as well as the inside of the tube. So I just fill it up and rinse it out. So now my ventilator circuit has been washed and rinsed. So I'm just gonna lay it out on the uh, towel here for air drying. These pieces can be put over a shower rod um, so that they can drip dry or you can lay them flat. Okay, so now all of my pieces are, have completely dried. I'm just gonna reassemble my circuit and um, you can either reattach it to your ventilator for use or you can wrap it up and put it into a clean drawer. So we'll start with first hose. 
You want to make sure that the bottom of your humidifier pot is put on as tightly as possible. This is a large source of um, leaks in the circuit, so just make sure every time you clean it that this is on as tight as you can. It slips right on the base. So this piece is going to go onto your humidifier pot. And it'll connect to your water trap. From the water trap, we're going to put our circuit. It's going to the client. And this is where we bring back in our exhalation valve. And then the final piece is the trach adapter with the flex hose. And we have two sensor wires that attach onto the front of the ventilator. There are two ports in the front here. The large one goes on the large port and the small one goes on the small port. The last thing that we recommend is to take a look at the back of your ventilator to have a look at the um, filter that's at the back. If you check it regularly, check it every two, week, uh, two weeks or so, when it starts to get a little bit of a, a dust buildup on the back, you want to remove that filter and throw it out. So I'll just turn this around just to give you a view of that. Okay, it just comes out like that. This get, is disposable. You get a new one, put it in with the white side out. And you're ready to go.